Good morning. Our lead story. There was another shooting in Boston last night. This time, a 16-year-old male was killed when Three shots were fired were shot outside overnight. a convenience store. A 17-year-old died from year his gunshot wounds. Was killed yesterday as he was leaving his in high separate school. Incident. Topping the news this morning, another teenage male was fatally shot in Boston overnight. Unrelated shooting. The sad thing about many of these young folks is that they're scared. I do feel like me and my friends are living a traumatic life. I feel like as soon as I step outside, boom, I'm gonna get shot. They were willing to say, I'll go to jail for a year and come out and still be alive, than to be shot down and never have another day of life. party that Derek called me about. I guess they're going to be performing and like you can act there, you can dance, sing, whatever at the peace thing. For us, it's nothing to us because we're accustomed to wanting to have peace because we've been through so many, you know, so many things dealing with violence or whatever. So it's like, okay, we want to go here. We want there to be peace. First of all, today's Cedric's birthday. He was born on April 26, 88. He got shot up by the Timothy and he died on the 14th. But even in all this tragic teen violence, you can feel this positive force working for peace. Jamal's bringing peace to this community. He's bringing love to this community. He's bringing strength to this community. He'll always tell his friends to come to church, you know, get off the street. Jamal saw how effective he could be advocating peace to those around him. I like how no matter what is negative, Jamal always makes a positive out of it. He told me not to do bad things. He respects me. Jamal is committed. Jamal is charismatic. And I believe in what he's doing. That's why we're here today, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a Jamal Peace Plan. And we all want to do something positive with our lives. How'd you make kids in the ghetto? Listen to the pain-filled echo. We can make a change and it starts with me. I can see my future projecting peace. So we must break this cycle of teen gun violence. We need to figure out who has a vision for teen peace and then we all need to work on that vision. I love you, Jamal. <laughs>